the party! Yeah, Bobo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> you never told me you were coming. I wanted it to be a surprise visit. Surprise? Yes. Well, what kind of surprise? <laughs> guess what? Something good has happened to me. Just guess. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Uh, Raymond, I have no time for guessing. I'm going out as you can see. Eh? Mm. Say whatever you want to say. I'm on my way to Victoria Island. Eh? Listen, Dewale. I am now a deacon. I was one of the people that was ordained a deacon in my church on Sunday. Raymond? Yes? You. You deacon. Ah, Jesus Christ. Whoever made you a deacon, Raymond? Yes. Your pastor must be blind. Raymond. Yes. I am very sure your pastor does not know you. You see, because if your pastor knows the kind of person you are, he wouldn't have ever ventured into making you a deacon. You a deacon? Oh. Now you sabi. <laughs> uh, you see. Um. Anyway, let's leave that aside. Let's meet at our usual place tonight at the club. Um. The second surprise is. I want to show you my new catch from our church. <laughs> you need to see this bear, Raymondi. <laughs> if you can become a deacon, mm -hmm. very soon, Satan will become an archbishop. Now nah, you serving. Uh, Dewale, just make sure you meet me at our usual place at the club. Or shall I drop you on the way? Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. We will see. Make sure we see tonight. Raymond Dickin. Raymond Dickin. I said it. I said it. Very soon, Satan himself will become general of Asia. Pastor, yes. what I'm saying is that I love that lady and I want to marry her. <laughs> Dick Raymond, do you understand or know the implication of what you've just said? Implication? What is there to understand? That I love a lady who is a member of my church and I want to marry her and you are talking about the implication? I doubt if you understand what you are saying. You impregnated a lady who is not your wife and you are insisting on marrying her. Have you forgotten that you are already married and have three children? And what has that got to do with what we are saying? What is bad in marrying a second wife? Oh, you, a decay, marrying a second wife? No! I can't and I won't subscribe to that. The Bible is against it. And have you learned from the Bible that a deacon must be a husband of one wife? Well, Pastor, that does not apply to me. If I know this is what you invited me for, I wouldn't have come. I have so many things, to, important things to do there. For your information, I've made up my mind to go all the way to marry that lady. See, Pastor, nobody can stop me from marrying that lady. Not even you. Yes. And for your information, I will do everything in my power to marry her. Ah, uh, look, 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 look. If you insist in marrying that lady, then you cease to be a dick in this church. Is that clear? <laughs> oh, well. If that is the game you want to play, I cease to be a dick in. And not only that, I cease to support your ministry financially. And I will collect, hear me, Pastor. I will collect everything, every dime I have given to this ministry. To surpass the decay of the church, make sure he's appointed of God. He must be freed of sin, not a fornicator. So, what can I do for you, Pastor? Uh, sir. I have a problem with one of my deacons. He has almost scattered the church. At present, the church is divided. How and why? 
He said he wanted to marry the second wife. And I told him no. I said the Bible does not support it. They remove him from being a deacon. I mean, at least he that has the power to hire must also have the power to fire. I tried it, but the decision is tearing the church apart. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. How did he become a deacon in the first place? Ah, uh, ah, uh, sir. It's a long story. Hmm. I was deceived by his generosity. Pastor. Yes. I really thank God for your life. Thank God. Um, you see, I like your style and your way of preaching. Thank you. You are not one of the pastors that lay more emphasis on sin. Sin? Yes. If you talk or preach too much about sin, it will make people to be sin conscious. Exactly. That's true. After all, there are so many messages in the Bible. Uh -huh. Well, um, Pastor, there is something that I really want to share with you. I had the announcement at the open church when you said the other church needed a drum and some dozens of chairs. Uh, sir, I just want to let you know that I will buy everything. What? Yes, Pastor. May God bless you. Amen. That's not all. Uh, please, I would like to have your children's school fees bill. I would like to sponsor them to senior secondary school level. And not only you, sir. I know that there are some members who are faced with uh, financial problem. Please, don't hesitate to let me know. I will also do the same for them. Oh. This is wonderful. Thank God. May God richly bless you. May God enlarge your course. May God increase you beyond your imagination. Repassing the air back. Father, thank you. He made good all his promises by donating generously toward the church project and helped so many members of my church. So, in order not to lose him and his generosity, I made him a deacon and a member of the church executive council just to tell him that. that he was dictating what to do for us in the church. 
after some time, we found out that he was messing around with some ladies in the church. In fact, sir, he even impregnated one of them mm. and threatened to marry her. Mm. When I challenged him, he threatened to leave the church. Mm. Not only that, he said he will collect back all what he has donated to the church and my family. Mm. The problem I'm not having is that many people in our church are ready to follow him if I allow him to leave the church. Mm. He has become a power broker in your church. But uh, I believe the situation is still under control. Because at least